This week, the racing world said goodbye to one of its greatest ever horses, Koto Star. In a career spanning eight seasons, Koto Star handled brilliantly by Paul Nichols, ridden in the main by Ruby Walsh, lifted National Hunt Racing into the stratosphere. He was quite simply a champion. What set Koto Star apart, aside from brilliance, versatility and barring the odd last fence blunder, his passion for jumping, was his resolution and consistency that flowed through a monumental career. A full 72 months separated Tingle Creek glory in December 2005, a day when I was afforded the pleasure of pilot duty, and a 16th and final top level success in the 2011 King George. And the records amassed during that glittering and lengthy career continue to stagger, as much now as when the legendary horse set them. Koto Star, the only horse to win five King George VI steeplechases, the first jumps performer to earn over two million in prize money, in 2006-07 became the only horse to be top-rated chaser over two miles, two and a half, and three miles, all in the same campaign. And in 2009, Kodo Star became the only horse ever to regain the Cheltenham Gold Cup, having lost his crown the previous year. Kodo Star canters home! But that last record, and Kodo Star's rewriting of the Cheltenham Festival history books, only came to fruition because he had to succumb to his legendary stablemate Denman during a gruelling renewal of the Gold Cup in 2008. Denman is destroying them and a new star is Denman who wins the Gold Cup. The Ditchett pair were both box neighbours and box office. Their showdowns in four Cheltenham Gold Cups between 2008 and 2011 were evocative of the great battles between Millhouse and Arkell in the 1960s. But aside from those gold cups and peering over the stable door at each other, their paths on a race course never crossed. Denman, Borden wait for fun in two Hennessy's, while Koto Star amazed his huge fan base with jaw-dropping performance after performance. And this is a great, great horse. Auto Star wins his fourth King George the Sixth Chase. A wonderful performance. But by May 2011, and having been defeated in both the King George and Gold Cup that season, Koto Star, aged 11, was pulled up after a lacklustre performance at the Punchestown Festival. Plenty called for an honourable retirement, but in sport, the highest performers, the brilliant few, the great champions are separated from the rest because they hold the power to come back after defeat. Koto Star didn't just come back, he roared back. What a comeback here at Haydock! He's going to win his fourth bet fair chase and Koto Star is still the king! And just a month later, and a few days shy of his 12th birthday, Koto Star recorded a staggering fifth win in the King George. Can he be the King of Kings? Koto Star for King George V! Koto Star, a sporting sensation! Koto Star has earned every superlative use to describe him this week. A horse racing legend, a sporting legend, an unforgettable racehorse that we were all lucky to witness and enjoy.